This one has sulfur in it, which was used for treating different kinds of rashes. Um, this one has hyssop in it, which hyssop, if I make a tincture and let you drink it, becomes a cough medicine. They tasted horrible, and they smelled really bad. And the kids didn't want to take them. So what I did is I put the medicine in my turtle, and I said, here, honey, would you kiss my turtle? And when they kissed the turtle, they drank the medicine. The other thing, because it's ceramic, you can't really smell it. And kids, I don't know if your mom ever tell you, just pinch your nose and swallow it, it'll go right down. If you ever have something she cooks at home that you don't like, it really does work. If you can't smell it, you can't really taste it. And so this kind of helps the medicine go down. Family members would follow their men to war. General Washington actually permitted this, allowed this, encouraged this. The first layer, and this is usually made out of very fine linen, very beautiful. It's, it's, it's like butter, you know, it's to your, to your skin. These were your underwear and your bra. And then you would always at least have one under petticoat, and you would have a pocket that you carry. You have an outer petticoat, and then you would have a gown. Um, this happens to be a round gown. You would have a jacket of, or some kind of gown that would go on the outer layer. These spectacles that I'm wearing are from around the 1780s. They're unusual in that they're wig spectacles. The arms can't open any further than that. That shape is so that when you put it on, if you have a wig that has curls on the side, this won't mush down the curls. After working for hours with the cream, we finally have butter. Which now has to be drained and, uh, and washed. And then it'll be ready. And this is what we made yesterday. This is our chicken. The reason I've done this for 13 years now is education purposes. We can't forget where we came from, how this country was built, and um, you know, if we forget history, you know, we'll forget ourselves and where we came from. And it's very important that we keep that furthering education going on. And what better way to learn history than to actually see it and come and do it. And you know, the, the fact that you get to do education, you get to do history. It's, Priceless.